everyone and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today we have got the final episode in our AI children's book series. So today I am going to be uploading River's Wild Adventures up onto Amazon KDP so you can follow along in that process. Now, I've already generated the description and blurb over on ChatGBT. So without further ado, let's go jump onto the computer right now. It went over onto our Kindle Direct Publishing and it is super easy to set up if you haven't got an account already. When you go onto the kdp.amazon.com page, you can simply then just put in, you can actually create it using your existing Amazon account, or you can create a new one if you want to keep things separate, which I definitely do recommend. Then you would just come over here to your bookshelf, and then we're going to click create. This then is going to allow us to create any of these. So we've got the Kindle ebook, we've got the paperback, we've got the hardcover, and here we've got series page. So I am actually going to add this book as a series, but initially I need to create it as a paperback. So in here, we're going to put in Rivers Wild Adventures. Safari Land, and that's the title. The subtitle I'm going to put Children's Adventure Jungle Story Book. Children's Adventure Jungle Storybook. And then I'm going to put a tale of bravery. And then if it's part of a series, here is where you can add your series details. So I've added it now. I'm going to hit create a new series. This book is one of the primary titles. So yes, it's going to be main content. We're going to then go to series setup. The series title is going to be called Rivers Wild Adventures. Please choose, do you want them ordered or unordered? It No, I don't want them ordered, especially your series detail page image will automatically create using the first three book covers in your series. So that's great. Here I'm going to put join River as he journeys through many magical and exciting lands. He will meet so many different characters and use his bravery to help others and to return home. Now I might work on that a little bit more, but that will do for the moment. Okay, continue setup. So here we go. So now I've got in here my Rivers Wild Adventure series. You can remove from the series here if you would like to. Here I'm putting Mrs. C. L. D. Oliveira. Contributors, there was no contribution. Now, so for the description, so if you can think back to the very first video when we asked ChatGPT to write the book, we also asked it to write a description. So I'm just going to take that bit out. And reunite, so there we go. So 
So now I'm just going to simply copy that and paste that into that. And there you go, that is it. Super, super simple. That's that. So now I own the copyright. We now have got the keywords, which we also asked ChatGPT for. So here we go. We can just simply copy these across. As you can see, this is just so super simple and super easy to do. Super easy to upload. I'm actually going to change this one to age five to eight, just because I want to add in as many different words as possible. Here we're going to go for a boy adventure story. I like that. And I've looked at all of these and there are, these are all really good keywords. I have done the research. I think I showed that on the first video and I will link the other two videos in this series as well. So you can see that animal rescue story. Safari and courage. Let's look that. There we go. And now we can choose our categories. So we're going to go juvenile fiction action and adventure mm, maybe not action adventure animals dinosaurs fishes frogs giraffes hippos let's go jungle animals and then maybe survival that kind of sounds a bit a bit too wild so we'll see um hmm Tiles, amphibians, bedtimes and dream. Not really a bedtime story. Could be a bedtime story, I suppose. Um, jungle animals. I think I'll go survival. Save that one. Okay, so it, this book here is a large print book. So we're ticking that. So that means that the font size is over 16 points, which it is. Does this book contain language situations or images inappropriate for children under the age of 18? No, it doesn't. So now we're going to hit save and continue. You can see this is just so far super easy. We've literally been running this for a couple of minutes. Now, here you can get your free KDP ISBN, which I am going to get for this book. But there is a really key factor, and I will do a video on this at another point. You, If you use the KDP ISBN, you cannot then sell your book somewhere else. So that's fine, but you just need to bear that in mind. If you actually pay and buy your own ISBNs, then you have complete freedom. You can sell that book anywhere. So then hit here the publication date. So I'm just going to select today. And now for the storybook, you've got your standard color interior. However, if you wanted to use that, you must have at least 72 pages. So we cannot use that in this instance. So we're going to select with the um, premium paper, which I think the minimum is 24 page. Here we're going to select a different size. Yep, so our one was 8.5 by 8.5. So I'm going to use that. Um, select bleed. Don't think it's going to matter too much. And then on a children's book, sorry, the sun is really coming in now. So I hope that you can still see me. So you can select either the matte or the gloss. Personally, on a children's book, I do prefer the glossy finish. Okay, so I had a bit of a trouble there with my laptop. So um, we're gonna continue on from here. So my laptop completely froze out on me. So we're gonna hit here, upload manuscript. 
and the first one is that one so now that is just going through the process of uploading it can take a little bit of a while until it does upload so do just bear with it i think it depends on how many people are there and things like that but this is a great time for me to ask you if you have not already please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying this content please do not forget to like if there are any other bits and pieces that you would like to have a little bit more information on then just leave me a comment let me know okay there we go so that one has now gone through that says save successful and then just here, I'm gonna, this, if I hit here, this would take me through to the cover creator. So I'm just gonna select there and hit upload your cover. And it's just this one, I think. So now that one's uploading. As you can see, the Rivers Wild Adventure is all uploaded. And then once this has uploaded, then we can go through and we can preview. Okay, there we go. So that's done. Yep, there we go, that's done. So now I'm going to hit, um, I'm leaving this box here unselected because I want them to include the barcode. But if you have your own, just make sure that you're adding it. You know, when you download the Amazon KDP cover template, there is a little section in the corner for the barcode and you need to make sure that it fits that size. And then here, I'm just going to hit launch preview and then we can have a look and see how our book is looking. So whilst KDP is preparing our files, they're also checking for any obvious errors and things, but it also then does go through a physical manual check where a human being looks at it. So this will highlight anything really obvious like the margins, things like that, but it's really crucial that you do look through all of your pages. There we go. So here we go. So this is how the book is going to look. Super cute. I'm super happy with this. And I really do love this kind of watercolor marks. As you can see, each page quite different but we're kind of using this sort of common theme running through so yeah I'm really happy with this I'm just going to move myself up and here I'm just going to hit approve there we go so that's that so that's all done there we've done our previewer this is our cost for Amazon now I'm going to hit save and continue and now on the next page this is where we're going to be setting our prices. So I am going to sell this in all territories, that's fine. I'm going to change this to amazon.co.uk just because this is where I live and it makes it a little bit simpler when it comes to me trying to sell basically. So. I'm going to select this to sell for $6.99, which I think is a really reasonable price for a book. So that means I will get £2.14 in the UK or 75 pence for the expanded distribution. So this is basically where Amazon can sell this elsewhere. So if you look here, it means they can make it available to other online retailers, libraries, universities, and booksellers beyond Amazon. But there are various eligibility requirements. Um, so here you can see in the US, I'll make $1.83, but nothing via the um, expanded distribution. So I'm just gonna change that to $9.99. There we go. And then I'll make $2.34.35 just there. And now you've got your terms and conditions. This is just letting us know that it can take up to 72 hours. So this is where I said human beings are now going to check it. Here you can get a 
request the proof before the book goes live. But you can also, once the book goes live, you can order an author copy and then essentially you're just paying the printing cost. So I'm gonna hit here, publish your paperback book. There we go, perfect. So that's done. So that's just going to appear just over here. So super happy about that. You can turn it into an ebook. You can obviously turn it into a hard cover as well. Um, you can make it available on Kindle. So lots of different things that we can do there. Here we can manage the series. So for example, I could add in the other Rivers Wild Adventure. So if I go manage there, so I want to add an existing title and that's this one. So this one here is going to be main, confirm and continue. So basically what that will do is when it comes to um, selling and you've got your sales page, once it's all live, it will automatically in the, when it comes up, Rivers Wild Adventures, whichever one they click on, they will then also choose the other one as well. So that's really cool. So I really hope that you have found that video useful. I cannot wait to see you all next time. See you soon, bye.